They weren't calling them anything. They of weren't. Course. They weren't labeled. I mean, there was no labels. Lean attached, on. Right? Come on. Lean on. That's what I mean. At any point, they could have been like, "This is Moonbaton." That's at any point yeah. because that shit transcended everything. It was. It started as an electronic thing. We all heard the demos. We heard the early versions of it. We heard the the versions that were like played at festivals before it hit radio. I wonder who ghost produced Lean On. Hit us up. If if if, if it was you, hit us up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then from, I mean it's probably DJ Snake, the whole yeah, thing. Probably. Yeah, and yeah. then um and then it hits radio. And then after it hits radio, it's a worldwide phenomenon. It's pop. At any fucking point, Diplo could have said this is Moomatone. At any point, and the shit would have just went. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because he had everybody's eyes on him. Now it's not his job to do that. Right. Definitely not. I'm just saying that he could have, but it wasn't his job to do that because they were not a Moomatone act. They were a dance hall inspired yeah. act. Right, 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 right. But that was the moment for that. Like, I'm over here like, yo, you he- Moomatone, you hear it. It's on the radio. It's I everywhere. Remember. Like, that was my way of explaining to people like who like, had no that- idea what I did. It was like, you hear that song? That's it. That was like a good two, three years where I was like trying to have that same, like explain that to family and friends when we would hear the song. I was like, oh my God, like we're in a fucking Target. And that's, that's, that's Moomatone right there. You know what I'm saying? But really it's Ed Sharon. <laughs> yeah, that right? too. That too. That's right. 